Service industry employees have two options, remain on unemployment or return to work at coffee shops like Milagro. I can't afford not to work. You can't afford not to work? I can't afford not to work. I only work part-time. My body doesn't allow me to work full-time. So I'm one of those people, I have to work. I have no choice. Businesses are going to have to struggle with drawing back their employees, and the government is sort of struggling to properly support the employees that actually need the help, you know, the people that actually need it. At Milagro Coffee y Espresso, the customers are lining up and the baristas are jotting down their orders. But not every coffee shop can hire back employees. New Mexico's unemployment rate is still historically high, 8.3% in March. It's really turned things up for Across town, workers at the corner deli are cramming into every corner of the kitchen. The owner said he's lucky they all returned to work so he could serve more hungry customers. Exactly. They just have a good work ethic. They just were brought up with you work if you want something like cars or apartments or if you want stuff, you go out and you work. That's not free money. It comes out of your taxes, comes out of your social security, comes out of your schools, comes out of your first responders, police department, firefighters, all of that. It comes out of their funds. I'm actually working because I enjoy what I do and that's it. Coffee shops like Milagro expect a wave of new applicants when the federal unemployment benefits expire this fall, but only time will tell. Reporting from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC7. Take a look at this chart right now that you see here. In March, the state of New Mexico had a higher unemployment rate than any neighboring states. It currently rivals California's at 8.3%.